leave the scene. Open to Kyle Anderson and Alexander Oreskin. The Russians defeated Hong Kong in the previous round and the Aussies had to survive a match start against Denmark. They'll be hoping the ride is a little less bumpy this time as one of the leading lights in the top half of the draw. First of the singles games then between Kyle Anderson and Alexander Oreskin. Let's get over to the commentary box where Wayne Martell is with Nigel Pearson. Thank you, Rod. Yes, Kyle Anderson, who uh, back based in Europe as much as he possibly can be. Um, well, there's a major sacrifice for Kyle, a family man who has really worked hard to establish himself. This fellow, Alexander Oreskin, who we saw in the uh, first round play his part with Boris Koltsov to hey, get the better off Hong Rose Kong. Like played last year, us. actually, uh, Oreskin. Uh, lost to the Netherlands, but reached the second round of the World Championships in 2016 so it's Carl Anderson to get us underway for Australia 81 yeah the Australians were unconvincing in the first round Simon Whitlock has a wrist injury and Carl Anderson just looks a bit edgy Oreshkin and Koltsov they played okay they well, probably played to uh, their standard Alexander seems to be limping just a tad hopefully that won't hinder his chances yeah it didn't stop Michael Van Gerwen but we're talking about a different player thought he played dreadful <laughs> <laughs> now Oreskin interesting character um, certainly uh, on his day can play some decent darts and a 40. steady ton 40 but obviously in some discomfort with that foot problem this is nice from Anderson on his day he's got a lovely flow no, 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 no. and that's the first one 80 in a match and it goes the way of Kyle Anderson yeah the real good players once they at that first 60 you're thinking you're at 141 80 and that's what Carl did to put him in control of this leg now he can hit a two treble visit here Oreshkin will need to take out that 170 98 Pull back. well the winners of this will play Wales after their victory against Ireland that we saw just a few moments ago Gerwin Price and Mark Webster coming through 2-0 in that one. Now Oreskin needs the ball for Russia. 123. Wow. Australia requires 76. Let me get Kyle's heart rate going. This is no gimme. 61 should go 11 or treble. Don't go 25 here. Wow. Well, He's pulled that. That leaves 37. 5 for 32. Or 17 for 20. 56. Russia well, will he get 57. the opportunity, Kyle Anderson, as Oreskin steps forward for a potential break of throw in the first leg of the match? Double 16 now. Two darts in hand for Alexander Oreskin. Oh, yeah, nicely done. Ball. Russia had the Russia. lead. And it's a break of throw against Kyle Anderson as well. Game on. Yeah, real, real poor effort of 76 from Kyle. He gave himself a chance for the help of that 180. It wasn't a bad dart for the 60, the, the treble five. It's just on the wire, but you've got to make sure of a, of a big number at least when you, you're trying to set up the bullseye. 60. He's got too aggressive on it and snatched it. Much better player than that. Didn't help himself. 96. But this is what's great about the, the first to four formats. It, the difference in quality is not so evident over a short format. If this was over nine sets, you would fancy Carl strongly, but first to four legs, different. Yeah, and Carl Anderson averaging 96 100. here. Oreskin himself is up at 95 almost. 
still very early, of course, in this short format, but that's a nice start from Anderson. Can he fill it up here? Second 180 of the match goes to Kyle Anderson. Can he break back in this one? I was in 108, 1 0 down. <laughs> like you say, Wayne, short format. Anything can happen. Let's have a little giggle backstage with uh, Ronnie and Kim Hybrex after Ronnie's 24. 115 average. Saying that he's the highest TV average for a Belgian player. Kim said it was only over four legs. Well, he has a fair point, but <laughs> who cares? <laughs> Ronnie won't care. Kim ah, cares, clearly. Good banter, yeah. There's always tomorrow, Kim. Well, Alexander is 1-0 up. But he's in trouble here, even though he threw first in this leg. 80. Phil Anderson, the scoring phase isn't a problem. Looking for a 57. Well... He made a real hash of 76 in the last. 13. That's not even making a real hash of it. That is just an absolute mess. Yeah, he's had a shocker there, hasn't he? Needs to sort that out. He's hit two 180s, but they're the only ton pluses he's hit in the match. But it, it can, even if the scoring well, the minute you get below, say, 200 or wherever it may be. It can knock your confidence if you feel like you're setting up plays and up to scratch. 60 for double 18. Has to keep straight. Sixty. Well, not ideal, but leaves himself a two-dark combo. You would expect him to be back unless Oreshkin can do something special here. Well, he had a real good go at the 170, didn't he, in the previous leg? Oh, Is he going to get the 152? One hundred and forty. He's double six. Should he return? Oreshkin, and now Kyle Anderson. This is going to be a test now. Tops two darts in hand. He's dipped below now. Double ten, and he pauses. Oh, nicely done. That was a good recovery, to be fair. Yeah, that was good. That was so good because that last start was a regrip as he took it from his feeding hand to, to the hand he's throwing it with. His right hand, he, he felt that he didn't grip it right, so he stopped. 95. And he hit the requisite target. Very good indeed. He only learned that through experience. Yes, and an important break of throw back in his favour, so it's one apiece to restore parity. But Oreskin is playing appreciably better than he did the other night. Well, we kind of said at the top, didn't we, me and Rod Harrington, that you're going to see, we think, the better standards being played by the individuals because their normal routine and rhythm is, is being catered for. Pairs is difficult. 100. Michael Van Gerwen struggled, as we know, but apart from that, <laughs> 119 average if you didn't see Michael Van Gerwen. He and Barney uh, were dominant, to put it mildly. Be interesting to see how Adrian Lewis performs tonight, because Chizzy had to carry him through last night. Yeah, I think he'd, he'd just be back to normal, he'd be miles 14. better. Adrian Lewis just had one of those nights, in my opinion. Yes. Just like Ronnie Hybrex had one of those days 59. today. He'll remember that for a long, long time. This is Boris Koltsov of Russia watching on backstage. <laughs> I wonder if that was his locker just behind. Good player, Boris Koltsov. I was impressed by him the other night. Yeah. Yeah. He'll give uh, Whitlock... One or two things to worry about, I'm sure. Yeah, he can play. The standard in the World Cup is rising and rising. 55, Russia Nepal 128. Now, Alexander Arushkin. Six darts from here for him. 
Will he go for the treble 20 ball combination? Just looking to set himself up. And we could have yet another break of throw on our hands. Two treble visit would really help here. I like that bullseye shot, I know he missed, but 72. would have left him a visit with just a, a single to treble bullseye finish rather than two trebles and a double. Didn't work out for him. Will this work out for Alexander? 16 for tops. For a 2-1 lead and another break of throw. Nice finishing. Colts of the applause shows his appreciation. <laughs> it's good from Alexander Oreshkin there. 2-1, he leads. And every leg so Game far on. has gone against the throw. If your opponent goes, if your partner, sorry, goes on first and wins, it, it, it just makes you feel at ease. You, you can try to flow. You'll still be under pressure, of course, but you know that even if you lose, it, it will come down to a pairs and you, you get another chance. 43 chance for Kyle Anderson can he hit another 180 or a ton 40 switches across here because that was a very very slack first half 45 is becoming increasingly nervous and edgy Simon's practicing whilst Boris is uh, going through the ringer yeah how Koltsov would love to play Whitlock with a 1-0 lead under his belt Russia have a chance of reaching the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Nice first start from Kyle Anderson now. Can he build on that? Yes, he can. Can he fill it up? Yes, he can. That's what I can do. That's what I can do. This is third 180. The Russia haven't won a match here since two well at the World Championships and at the World Cup, not here, since 2010. So they're actually doing well to still be batting away. So a well, quarter final spot 21. would be fantastic. Very much so. Anderson at the trebles again. One forty. Nice steady 140. So, uh, Oreshkin under pressure, we could have a fourth leg going against the throw. But Kyle can score well, but the setup shots, I know he's going to go for this, but setup wise, he's been pretty poor, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been wasting a lot of darts. You look at the doubling percentage, he's only had two darts at a double, where he probably should have manufactured about five. to go the other way surely 16 he's still left two dark combination there Kyle Anderson but that's what he keeps doing rather than one treble would have left the double and I think that's sort of the third time that's happened he's trying to defend can't do that 57 well a rushing can't find a treble so Still leaves himself on 80. What can Kyle Anderson do? He's hit the treble 20, needs double eight now. One dart in hand to level it at two apiece. Oh, he's gone 16. well, well astray. Russia, you require 80. Chance for Russia for 3-1. This could be decisive in the first singles match. It could, yeah. 60. Oh, my. Moves over. Sets himself where he wants to be. Double ten. Will he move again? No. Double five. Big dart. Real big dart. 75. Australia, you require eight. And now, Kyle Anderson has an opportunity for another break. Eight. And it's two apiece. Australia. Good break is Australia. <laughs> Simon winding box up. <laughs> Somebody keep them apart. <laughs> the sledging, the sledging, superb, I love it. Australian sledging? <laughs> 93. Well, that could be the little bit of luck that 
Kyle Anderson and Simon Whitlock needed, and that was for Alexander Oreshkin to fail to take out the 80. And after it, the 60, I've got to say, I, I kind of fancied him. This is nice. Good time for a 180 for Russia. There's no bad time, is there? Even if, want, even if you want 183, it's good. <laughs> the Wayne Mardle counting school. Oh, you can't beat it. 96. The 180 to leave two is still the greatest thing ever. <laughs> First to four then gets a point on the board. We have a singles battle between Anderson and Oreshkin here, Australia and Russia. That's followed by Simon Whitlock and Boris Koltsov. If we have a 2-0 scoreline, there's no need for uh, a doubles battle. But if it's one win each, 43. then we go down to the decider doubles match. Hasn't happened yet this afternoon. Two 2-0 two scorelines. 92. Only a two or three treble visit would hurt. Kyle Anderson. Ruskin, who uh, reached the 60. second round of the World Championships in 2016. And uh, Boris Koltsov, uh, his partner, got through the preliminary round a couple of years ago at the Alexandra Palace as well. 50. Didn't go any further, but Anderson now surely the favourite to hold his throw for the first time in this match. But again, off 220, could only leave 170. A straight ton has been so much better. 140. Now then, that makes it interesting. 170. Well, Alexander missed the 170 on the balls. Only opening leg. 57. Carl Anderson didn't get a shot. 18. Didn't get a treble. Again, still left himself with a lot to do. Yeah, that's six darts now without a treble off of uh, 220. Not good enough. I don't like that way for 118. I'm not going about counting a lot, but come on, guys. The 54 would leave 64, which means you, you're bringing in the bullseye, whereas a treble 20 means 18 shots. So much easier that way. Now, Anderson, this is a tall order. Treble 19 would leave the double 18. He's hit the treble. It is in, Kyle. He can't believe it. <laughs> Double 18 to hold his throw and have a 3-2 lead. There's the target. 77. Russia, you require 20. You two are going at it, as are these. Big moments, really are. Oh, Team nicely done. Can you believe it? Five legs, and everyone has gone against the throw. And I think Boris Koltsov is enjoying himself backstage. Kyle Anderson is making real, real hard work of this, and whilst not wishing to take anything at all away from Oreshkin, Kyle has cost himself opportunities here. Do you know what? I'm not even sure if he's just lacking composure or he's just missing, because he doesn't One seem to be rushing, Kyle team. Anderson. When he gets down to the sort of 200 mark, it, it, scoring's okay. You can see Alexander's just been that slightly bit better. It's the. The one stat that he's got Alexander Reskin in front is the 140s and the tons. Look at this. And now a 180. 180. He, he's just outscored. He's just outscored Anderson. Could be too little, too late from Kyle Anderson. It's a fourth 180. But he could be on the verge of defeat in this first singles tie. It's that 140 column and the ton plus column, yeah. as you, a column as you mentioned, Wayne. Yeah. That's far more effective than four 180s and little else. Yeah. 124. He's having a perler of a leg here, isn't he? 
what a time to have it. Well, Anderson all over the place again. So Russia with Alexander Oreshkin have the opportunity to take a 1-0 lead in this second round tie with Australia. Simon Whitlock, remember, is carrying an injury. He will feel the pressure if this goes in. Remember, Anderson not on a finish anyway. So Oreshkin will be back. I actually think the way that Boris's darts, uh, sorry, Alexander's darts lay in, I, I don't think that's a bad miss. What a setup that is. He's double 10, he can lay by the side and go in. If he goes above tops, mm. he darts himself. So, not a bad miss from Alexander. This is pressure. Gone inside, now double five. Russia take a wonder lead. Alexander Oreshkin beats Karl Anderson. And it's up to that man, Boris Kolchov now, who plays the wizard, Simon Whitlock. If he wins that, then Russia will be in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. So it's Whitlock and Kolchov when we come back. Otherwise, the Russians will go through to the quarterfinals, and that would be some surprise. Let's get back to the commentary box and Wayne and Nigel. Thank you, Rod. Yes, so Boris Koltsov with the opportunity to send Russia into the quarterfinals of the World Cup. He was the better player in the battle with Hong Kong. Kai Fan Leung and Royden Lam with the Hong Kong duo. And it was Koltsov who was the lead player, if you like. 14. But here he finds himself in a great position where Russia are one point up, courtesy of Alexander Arashkin's victory over Kyle Anderson. 140. Koltsov has started quite nicely here as well, Wayne. Yeah, he was the uh, player that was playing with a swagger yesterday. 100. What we are going to learn here is how bad Simon Whitlock's injury really is because he's going to be under the cosh because this man can play you heard it from Paul Hinks 180 for Boris Koltsov and now here's Whitlock in response he knows he's got a real tough contest here the wizard Koltsov a picture of determination he's hit the treble 19 he said another one for double 12 and that is a 12 card leg to get us underway Boris Koltsov absolutely off to a flyer here <laughs> you're not kidding wow that leg contained a 180 and 138 finish apart from that he didn't really do a lot <laughs> good pace to this game as well well, it's quite interesting that Simon's using smaller flights, or I think they look like standard-shaped flights that have been cut down. And they're, they're slightly smaller, so they actually go through the air quicker, which means they don't have to be propelled as firmly. So he's clearly thinking about the injury in kind of scientific terms and trajectory and everything else. Yeah, so looking good for one apiece here. They've already hit one maximum each. 41. Only 41 for Whitlock, but Colts off a long way behind. Whitlock sat on a finish. 140. can play, can't he? Very much so. I remember watching him a few years ago thinking, right, like, he, he seemed to have it, and then he didn't progress, didn't kick on. Certainly found a method. 16. It just happens. People click. Peter Wright, look how he's clicked. Michael Van Gerwen refound it. 140. Australia, you require 80. Well, well, well. This puts Whitlock under pressure now. Needs the trap lines. Gone for two tops. Well, well, well. 14. This is an opportunity now for a 2 0 lead. If, if you do go for double top, 
double top. You have to stay within the... Wow. Well, he's made a right mess of that. 42 left? Yeah. 34. Now, surely this time, Simon Whitlock. For one apiece. He dodged the bullet there, done well. Yeah, needed to show his cool, calm attitude to hit tops, and that was a great dart under pressure. 16. Yeah, Boris rushed, didn't he? 52 left, rushed the 20. Simon's been winning for fun on the tour. The wrist injury doesn't halt his progress because he's been playing some fantastic stuff. 81. Good crowd in here in Frankfurt on this Saturday afternoon. The pack to the rafters tonight. Look at the determination shown by Simon Whitlock. As you said, Wayne, they. Pushed all the way the other night, and what about Colts off here with a second 180? Still not on a finish, but Australia, who just edged out Denmark in the first round, really under pressure here as well. 91. Look at Colts off's average. There are some amazing players out there that, for one reason or another, don't make 16. it onto the world stage as often as they'd like. Backing normally, family, jobs. It's all about circumstance. That's why some make it and some don't. 92. Russell Rapal, 120. Now, this would be something special. Tops, he leaves now. Colts off. 100. Dips well below. Australia requires 78. So I think it just caught the flight, didn't it? I think. Unfortunate. I've never seen the like. For 78, I've never seen the like. Australia! But a determination what from Simon Whitlock. He means business all right. He wants to take this to a pairs decider. Boom! Fair play to him, he's turned it around. I'm trying to think of why that way for 78 is better than 54. I'll let you know in about 39 well, years when I, I still haven't worked it out. Think about it and let us know in Blackpool. <laughs> 16. Great lineup tonight as well here from 7 o'clock. Well, he's, he's throwing with nice fluency, Simon Whitlock. He's very much in the zone now, isn't he? Yeah, he was throwing so much quicker today than he did do yesterday in the pairs. He keeps saying it. It's really difficult, the pairs. It's something that the guys don't do very often. Forty-two. Has Simon Whitlock weathered the? Colts off storm because he really did come out flying, didn't he? 43. Yeah, it's been a bit of a storm outside here in Frankfurt today. The rain has been pouring. But now, storm 59. on the stage from Colts off, but Whitlock weathering it quite well. 99. that he won't Australia have to play in a pairs match to sort out who's going to win this tie. Well, Simon may, may go 54-54. Uh, he didn't want to stay there, did he? You can see that. He was so reluctant to stay 65. there. Absolutely. 
what a start this man made. That first leg, 12 darts. Stunning stuff, but 40. started to drift Oxford now a little bit. Whitlock looking set for 3-1. Conventional way. All Boris can do is hit a big one and hope. He's playing a bit slower now. Colts off. Yeah, his uh, his confidence is just gone for a second. This for three-one. Got to come down and to go within a leg of a pair's decider. Carl Anderson nods his seal of approval. It could be that for the first time this afternoon, we could be heading to a pairs decider between Australia and Russia. And that's when it gets very, very tense. We like the doubles, we like the pairs, it's tense. You don't want to let your partner down. You don't want to let your country down. Wows await the winners of this he's in again he's in again that's unlucky 120. that was a bona fide bounce out you don't see many of those on on these fine wire boards ninety three keeps him interested in this leg So I'm going to be looking to leave 170. Can't do that now. 100. See how how much slower Colts off is playing. That first leg, he was absolutely 16. Un unstoppable. And now he's a lot more methodical. Now Whitlock looking for a big number here to set himself up. Should Koltsov not take out the 167? Took out the 138, didn't he, in the first leg? 60. Only 60 now. 167. 60. Well, he really does need a big treble. 93. Good job, that. He will be under the cost to some some point, though. You feel that if Simon can... Obviously, he's looking to take it out, but if he can, it a treble. Koltsov will have to take that 74 out to stay 100. in the match. Now, this is pressure. Koltsov to keep this singles match alive. Needs tops. He's got one dart. Whitlock waiting to pounce on 48. 34. Could this be the moment when Simon Whitlock takes us to a doubles decider? 16 for double or 8 for tops? Double 16. Yeah, that so is a 4 1 win for Simon yeah. Whitlock. The score now is Australia 1, Russia 1. All four players. We'll take to the stage and fight it out over a best of seven legs. Pairs decider for a place in the quarter final against Wales. So, doubles decider. Unlike the first round, though, a shorter match. Just the best of seven legs. Not much margin for error. Will the favourites Australia get the job done or will Russia reach the quarters for the very first time? Let's find out in the company of Wayne and Nigel. Well, it's Kyle Anderson to get us underway for Australia then in this deciding doubles game. 93. Yes, first to four legs. It was first to five in the first round when it was doubles. Tough one to call this now. We know that Kyle Anderson is capable of big scores for Australia, but was really struggling with his setup. But Alexander Areshkin played quite nicely with his win over Kyle Anderson. Took the opportunities that, that were there. Maybe just just about fancy Australia, Wayne. I do. Yeah. I think uh, they have a, a lot more experience, and I don't think Simon will panic as much as 
Boris May. He, he just looked to looked a tad, a tad edgy in that last singles game. This is what I mean about Kyle. Um, the first out there, the trouble 20. He has got a nice throw, but he, he's just too inconsistent in the rest of his game. He's far from the complete player. You see... Alexander Reshkin's darts, they wobble as they go in the board. Basically, his points are made from stainless steel and they, they've got a bit of give in them. So they give that effect. They're so narrow, they, they're supposed to give you more room in the, the treble bed. If they did give you that much more room, everyone would use them. So, Whitlock leaves Anderson a finish. Now Koltsov, looking to do something similar for his partner Alexander Oreshkin. Nicely done, leaves 51. Still unpredictable here. Trouble 20 would leave double five for Kyle Anderson. Well below it, well, well below it. Yeah, Kyle's got a habit of, when he's slightly under pressure, of just holding the dart too long and it drags. Everyone has traits, that's his. Double 16. Double 8. Five. Unlucky. Five. Now, Simon Whitlock. This should be quite simple for a player of his quality. How many times has he done this? Well, I can guarantee the, the reason he's taking his time, he couldn't work out whether to go for three double one because Simon's darts stand up. Going three double one, he would have had a better marker. I can assure you that's what he was thinking. Double four. In Russia take the lead. Russia. Boris Koltsov <laughs> is the man. Second lane, Russia, first. One a piece in the singles. <laughs> Sorry, Nigel, there's a few showmen in this World yes. Cup, isn't there? Yeah, you'd fit in rather nicely. Ah, oh. different class of showman, <laughs> different class. <laughs> First to four, wins this tie. It's all down to this doubles game now. Russia three legs away from the quarterfinals of the World Cup of Darts. But there's Kyle Anderson again with a lovely first dart. 81. When your opponents hit 90, 95, 81 isn't enough. 121. Wales await the winners, Gerwin Price and Mark Webster. Will it be Australia? Will it be Russia? Here's Whitlock. Well, that was a bit unlucky. Hit the previous darts and ricocheted away. I have no idea what Boris Koltsov is doing. He's watching the screen. Well, he's... <laughs> he's responding to every dart that Oreshkin throws. Surely it's easier what? to just watch it live What's on the... <laughs> mm. oh, I, I don't different... know. What do I know? Come on, Wayne. Cheer up. Look, I like being entertained <laughs> as much as the next man. <laughs> but there's massive pressure on this. Look, we all deal with it in different ways. I should dance around like a lunatic. So, okay. Fair point. <laughs> 130. Didn't really want that. <laughs> Too good. Australia in a bit of trouble here. 140. Well, that's nice from Whitlock. Would Anderson have it in his locker to seal the deal if Oreshkin can't take this out? It's only 15, but it's important. Double six. We saw Mark Webster of 15, the left-hander as well, go this way. That's 2-0. They're holding all the aces at the moment. Well, well, well. Australia are in trouble now. 100. 
two legs away from the quarterfinals, Russia. They will play Wales if they come through this. And my, how they've played well. Oreshkin from St. Petersburg here. They've played well, they've played really well. We know they're not through yet, but Alexander Oreshkin averaged over 90 against Kyle Anderson and Koltsov. Okay, buckled at the end, but he's shown his quality on so many occasions now that you just class him as someone that that can hit anything he's going for. This is nice. Oh, oh lucky. So unfortunate. Hit the flight. Yeah. One of those things. 46. He's buckling, isn't he? Yeah, this is where Whitlock needs to just G Kyle Anderson up, G him up, just show him some encouragement. He needs to be a captain. Yeah. There needs to be a captain of, of the Australian duo. I'm not sure there is. And the fact that Simon Whitlock doesn't throw first in the legs, that, that concerns me a little. He needs to take charge. No offence to Kyle Anderson, but Simon Whitlock is the better player. Staying up the board. That's an important trouble with the last dart. Now, that's a great start from Koltsov. Oh, what a 140 that is to put Australia under pressure. Brilliant. The confidence. And Kyle Anderson hits a single one. Oh dear, oh dear, Kyle Anderson. Still leaves Whitlock a tall order if Oreshkin doesn't take this out. That's another problem there. Anderson set up, leaves Whitlock so much to do if he comes back here. Needs the ball. Well, we know what he wants because Boris is telling us. <laughs> Bullseye for 3 0. <laughs> Goodness me, we are in for another major surprise here in that Russia are on the verge of the World Cup quarterfinals for the first time. Boom! They're outscoring the Australians, they're out finishing them. Averaging 97, they're comprehensively outplaying them. They are. Russia are not to be mistaken for uh, an outfit that think they can't win. They can. I'm not saying win the whole thing. They, they know that they can win this and then possibly beat Wales. We've said time and time again, since Scotland got beat, this top half is wide open. So why not Russia in the final? They've, pl they've played some stunning stuff. Oh, lovely second dart. Seeing Koltsov celebration. I'm just wondering what Russian is for Avit. <laughs> Something like that. Avit. Any ideas? No. Brilliant from Simon Whitlock. Kyle Anderson has had a bit of a mare in this. Oh, he's gone down the board. Hasn't done that very often today. Stand at the 20s or 18s. 57. You know the best bit when Koltsov is looking at the screen, he can see himself at the back of the stage. Carl was, uh, <laughs> he really has, he's panicked. The situation has got to him. Yeah. One treble will do you, Boris. 16. Now, if Whitlock can hit the big number, Australia will be right back in this leg. Well, he needs two trebles. One isn't enough. Yes, it keeps him interested, but... The 3-0 down, 10 points behind on the average. We know averages mean nothing, but they're averaging 83. They're, they're not full of confidence. They're, they're struggling, the... Australian pairing. Wow. Brilliant second dart, Wayne. 
Oh, wow, indeed. What can you say? They're edging ever closer to the quarterfinals for the first time. Australia on the brink. That's magnificent. That is absolutely magnificent. But they're going to have to rely on Boris Koltsov missing. Two darts at tops. One at double ten for the match. And Russia are in the quarterfinals of the World Cup of Darts for the first time in their history. Russia beats Australia 2-1 and they will now face Wales in the quarterfinals. Boris Kosov celebrates and how? Alex and Boris with their interpreter. So thanks for joining us and thanks for talking to us. Just want to ask how they're feeling really after that. Один вопрос: как вы себя чувствуете сейчас в данный момент после этой игры? Сейчас даже нечего сказать, мне кажется. Все сказано там. Все сказано там. Я могу сказать одно: он чемпион. Он все сделал. I don't know what to say. All say on the stage, and now I can say only one: he is the champion. We saw Alex play at the World Championship, where he nearly beat Mervyn King. Today he beat Kyle Anderson. How does he feel about that? Ты играл на чемпионате мира, и ты был близок к тому, чтобы побить Мервина Кинга. Как сейчас ты себя чувствуешь, когда ты побил Андерсон? I haven't worked. It's my finest play game. It's my finest play in my dad's life. That's all. Мне нечего сказать. Я еще раз говорю, у меня нет слов. I don't, uh, I, I don't have nothing to say because all my words are finished and only feelings now is in my heart. All what I can do, I do it where in front of the darts board. And now they are in the quarter final of the World Cup. How do they feel about that? Сейчас у вас четыре финала. Что вы чувствуете перед этой игрой? Мы чувствуем расслабленность от этой игры. Все, что мы будем чувствовать, мы будем чувствовать завтра. Сегодня мы выиграли. Today we win and we have we feel relaxable. All what we will feel tomorrow, we will feel tomorrow. Now or nothing. У меня может быть это и плохо. У меня может быть это и плохо. У меня drive. Maybe it's very bad, but I feel drive for tomorrow. Great. Well, we look forward to seeing you playing in the quarterfinals. Please congratulate them for us, and we look forward to them playing them tomorrow. Sure. Большие поздравления вас обоих и good wishes for tomorrow. Лучшие поздравления for tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Boris. Thank you, Alex. We wish you all the best tomorrow. Thank you very much. The Russian team.